Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> SM2, Activision just canceled. They just hit us with a cease and desist. <laughs> uh, SM2's done. They got canceled. SM2 got canceled by Activision. They're just so greedy. <laughs> Billion dollar corporation. <laughs> the greed. It's just so they're evil. It's just so wrong. They can't do it. And then they got us with IW4X. Cease and desist. It's just not no, It's just not right. You know what else? You want to know what else? I don't give a fuck. What is going on, my fellow gaming warriors? Tis the one, and we are back again. Activision canceled SM2 and IW4X. As you know, you know, this just came out. Activision just hit the team members of SM2 with a cease and desist. They target X Labs, who are in control of the MW2, the original MW2 client so that people can play MW2 without worrying about cheaters or hackers. So those two got cancelled, but people were really furious over SM2. Like, it was actually, it was crazy. It was insane to me how people were so, like, depressed. When it comes to Activision, they these people are out for blood. And I mean content creators, everyone in the Call of Duty community seemingly is really, they're just totally angry, fed up with Activision. And to that I'd say, why? Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act, you know, like, Activision is the good guy here, no. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna be that guy, I'm not that guy. I'm not gonna be that guy that says, oh, Activision, they're, this is the right thing, this is the right thing for them to do. Look, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do. My thing is, what did you expect, you know what I mean? I'm not defending Activision in this case, but what do you expect from a multi-billion dollar corporation? They're not, they don't care about your feelings. You know, this is where the whole thing stems from. They do not care about your feelings. I'm talking to Blame Truth. I'm talking to uh, Phase. Even Phase. Je I love Phase Jeff, but even he's like getting upset over it. Like, dude, what do you expect? What did you expect Activision to do? Of course, they were gonna take SM2 down. They were gonna cancel that. If you weren't aware, SM2 is basically a collaboration of like all the best maps, weapons, and just every all the best parts of all the old Call of Duties all into one. And a bunch of passionate Call of Duty team members, Call of Duty players from the from the community, that came together, and they were you know pasting this together. I don't know for how long it's been years now, probably, but I guess a lot of people were excited for it. But I kind of call BS on that. I kind of call BS on that. But I have not heard anyone speak of SM2 before Activision hit him with a cease and desist, and they had to cancel it, and everyone's all in an outrage, fake outrage. I haven't heard a single thing, I haven't heard a peep about SM2. I mean, how far away was this even be, being uh, to completion? You think about it. Like, is it just me or I have not heard anything about it. I, don't, I honestly didn't care. I don't care for SM2 as much as, you know, I thought it was a good thing, you know. I'm not saying I'm happy about this happening. But, my gosh, grown men crying. Look at this thumbnail. Look at this thumbnail from Faze Jeff. I'm sorry, I love that he's my favorite college with a YouTuber. But my gosh, the drama. It's time to say goodbye. Like, the dra you don't know what he's about to say in this video. You're like, whoa, what, what do you mean it's time to say goodbye? What did you expect? Look at this thumbnail. I can't get over it. The dramatization. The dramatization of this whole situation is blown up out of proportion. Like, what did you expect? It was like they canceled, like, the next 10 Call of Duty games. It just doesn't even make sense. Why are you getting your- why are you getting so upset over this? And Blame Truth 2, Activision with the cease and desist again. I'm boycotting Modern Warfare 3. Like, it's, it, it truly is. It, it's so serious. It's such a serious situation. Like, the world's gonna end. Oh, they canceled Modern Warfare. They canceled SM2. But yeah, I saw Modern Warzone. Of course, Dishonest Doug has to chime in here, get in the, get in the mix. And so I saw him tweet this earlier, and he's like, Activision is on a cease and desist rampage against community made Call of Duty projects, and it's probably not over yet. X Labs was the only safe way to play older Call of Duty titles online, such as MW2, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3. A lot of people have been fanboying Black Ops 3 recently, I don't know why. Because it was colorful and you could fly around. Wow, cool, neat. Not not my cup of tea. Not Call of Duty. You wanna do that? Play Halo. Go go play something else. That's not doesn't belong in Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 sucks. Anyway. Yeah, Black Ops 3 was another game you could have played without putting yourself at risk, which is true. These games, they, like, this was good. I was actually looking forward to this after I got my new PC. Like, I was actually looking forward to downloading this just to play the older games. Maybe not every day, but, you know, from time to time. Because you can't do it now, because I'm not doing that. No way. 
the hacker and the cheater not only the cheater problem but the hacker problem they they these people can literally track your ip they're losers and blame truth also says i will not be purchasing the next call of duty and i hope you all do the same are you really gonna get this upset over them canceling sm2 like your life is ending like this is this is the end of the world they they canceled they canceled sm2 man. i even thought about it in like nine months but <laughs> Uh, fake outrage, fake outrage. Any views, I need, I need clicks. It's like this is what this whole thing is over. Does anyone honestly really care? Like, it's just so cringe. These, a lot of these guys are over 30 years old and they are crying, literally, legitimately crying, over this SM2 ordeal. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Get, grow a pair. And I even said this in response to A Thoughts when he was like, "I will be buying an S Call of Duty, and I implore all of you to buy it too if you want." I said. The Call of Duty community is full of straight up man children. I'd buy it just out of spite because of the absolute meltdowns these men quote unquote are having. You'd think they just lost the family member. And that's what it seems like. Again, when I watched that Jev video, I watched the Blame Truth video, like it was like they somebody somebody died. Somebody died. Somebody close to them died. That's what it felt like. And I'm like, I'm just saying, man, what is going on here? You guys are grown men. Grow up. Grow up pair. Are you kidding me? This has to be fake. I actually, I don't think, I think Jeb is being sincere. And I also ag agree with Jeb's point, actually. He sees the reason why. I feel like most people see the reason why, but he saw the reason why Activision intervened here and canceled SM2. The reason why they hit him with a cease and desist is because they saw SM2 as a, as competition. You know, they were legitimately threatened, were scared by him. And 100% I agree with that. SM2, the people who are making SM2 are using Activision's assets uh, to make their own game, which would be competing with Call of Duty's, with Activision's annual releases with Call of Duty. Of course they're gonna take it down. Are you surprised? Did you think Activision was not gonna take it down? Well, they took the Why did they just tell my way? It didn't tell me. It's because they changed the engine. No, it's because... <laughs> because MW2 is sucking right now. And they know damn well that once SM2 is complete, it will take a lot of people away from their games. That that's how they felt. We're on the same page there, but where I where I'm at is different in the in the sense that I'm not upset over it. I am not for Activision. I am not sticking up for Activision here. But let's just put this into perspective. If you understand how the world works, the world is not fair. Life is not fair. That's that's what everyone's arguing. Like, yeah, you're right. Like, if I were to bring up these points to you, right, about SM2 using Activision's assets and SM2 being in competition with the annual releases of Call of Duty taking away players, therefore making Activision lose money, losing consumers on their own games. So obviously that would make sense, right, for Activision to intervene and cancel SM2. No, I don't think anyone would disagree with me there. Jev understands that point, but... Basically, he's just saying, well, it's not fair. I don't care. Not fair. No, I don't care. Like, really? It's childish. It's totally childish. And as Thought said the last time, beta, be pathetic and beta behavior by all these content creators and the, and the entire Call of Duty community, I feel like. It's like, F Activision, F Activision, just like this dude pro-born, pro-reborn said. I see him from time to time on the feed, on the, on the Twitters, but he's like, hey, Activision, F you. Yeah, let's get hashtag F Activision trending. <laughs> Like, dude, really? What did they... we've been saying this for years? You think it's all of a sudden gonna uh, change something? Of course not. Like, where? What world do these people live in? What world? On what world do you think anything's gonna change? Because you say F Activision. So this is what I'm talking about. It's just totally, totally childish. Totally childish. What is going on here? And again, Eight Thoughts brings up this point. A sad day for Call of Duty Nero Cinema. He had a Nero Cinema. Never seen any of these guys playing these canceled games. At Mr. T Lexify definitely is upset, but the rest of these guys making YouTube videos with fake outrage, calling it how I see it. And I agree, because how can you be this upset? How can you be surprised? <laughs> of course Activision was not going to allow this. They don't want to lose out on money. That's what this whole thing is over. Every decision that all these billion dollar corporations make, believe it or not, are based on money, not your feelings. They don't care. Wait, my feel, but what about my feelings? What about my feelings? I said, but I want SM2, I want to enjoy a free game, they're not, they're not making any money off it. Yeah, they're not making money off it, but they're taking money away from them. That's the whole point. You, and if you understand that, then you're, you'll you be at peace with it. You're like, I'm not going to lose sleep over this, but I just don't care. Me personally, I honestly don't care. I, I gen I'm giving you my honest, 
my honest opinions on this. I do not care. I will not lose any sleep, any second of sleep over SM2 being cancelled or being hit with a cease and desist. Why hold out hope for something that was never going to happen? It's just dumb, but that's, that's all I gotta say on that. People, grown men crying. Grown men. Maybe that's what I'll title it. Grown men crying about the cancellation of SM2. Activision hits you with a cease and desist. You cry, really? You are a grown man. Grow up. Grow a pair. Grow a pair. What are you doing? Get off of Twitter. Get off of Twitter. Go play a different game if you want. Go play a different game. There are plenty of better games to play right now. Go play single player. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. you. Is this really the only thing you were, you could spend time on? There's no way. You can do a, a lot of other things. Come on. Life goes on. I'm going to end it here. Comment what you think about, you know, this whole thing. Are you are you on my side? Do you think, you know, Activision, of course they're going to take it down. Why are we surprised? Subscribe if you're new. Of course, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. That will be very much appreciated. Uh, I In the next one, I, I've got caught up in some drama with, you know, the whole call of shame thing you could see from the last video. If you look on my Twitter, you'll see the drama that I'm caught up in now. And I'm basically tied in with that situation that I was talking about in the last video now. So I gotta, I have to address that in the next one. You'll see it probably tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Cry me a river. I am a shankino. There's been one.